Hi guys, so I went shopping last weekend on Saturday with my friend Tina. We went to Ulta and also Sephora and so I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, I also made a stop at Rite Aid and then um, MAC too. So um, at Sephora I just ended up getting two things. I have been wanting to get a Tarte blush forever and the one that really interested me was Tipsy and it's kind of like an orange um, but they didn't have that in stock so I ended up getting Blissful which is a really pretty um, kind of like a peachy color. It's like a warm peach. I love this and um, the funny thing about this is that I just saw Prissy and Pink in her haul mention that she just bought this too so that's kind of cool and I've been into these like peachy kind of colors lately too. Um, so I got this. So pretty. These are long wearing blushes. They're the Amazonian Clay Long Wear Blush and um, it's supposed to stay on for like eight hours or something like that. I'm not wearing it today because it didn't really go with my outfit but I love this. It's so pretty. And then um, I also picked up another Tarte product and this is the Park Avenue Princess. This is so pretty. Um, this is also the Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. There are two different Park Avenue Princesses. There's the matte and then there's also one that has shimmer in it. And I wanted this for contouring and um, as a bronzer so I didn't get the one with shimmer. Although they did have like a really cool gift set with like a blush and a bronzer and a mascara I think and some other stuff. So that's that cute packaging. Love it. And then um, I didn't get anything at Sephora. She did pick up, um, my friend picked up the Smashbox Studio Skin because I've been raving about it to her so um, she did get that and I'm waiting to hear um, what her thoughts are on it to see if she likes it as much as I do and then I went to MAC and I got um, Viva Glam Nikki this is so bright it's so pretty it's also that kind of like corally color it's like a corally pink I'll swatch it so you can see but I'm loving this color. It looks so pretty on. It's really bright. And um, one thing about it, though, is that it stains your lips really bad. Like, you put it on, you try to take it off. It does not come off. You, it takes a while to come off. But it's super pretty. And it's also in that same color family as the blush that I got. It's just that, like, corally kind of color. Super pretty. Love it. And um, also, everything, every... Every proceed goes to the MAC AIDS fund, which I think is awesome. So, yeah. And then the last thing I got, I went to Rite Aid, and I had like a $10 off coupon. So I got Essie's Raspberry, and that's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, it's just a really pretty berry color. My nails are kind of chipped right now because I've had it on since, I think, Saturday or Sunday, and it's Thursday. So, um, But I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like the perfect berry color. It's not too dark, and it's just like that pinky berry. Love it. So that's my little haul. Um, one thing that I also wanted to mention that I am absolutely loving, I entered a contest to Sigma for my Valentine's Day tutorial, and I won. I'm so excited. I never even thought that that would ever happen to me. Um, so I was super excited about that, and I won three different prizes. It was three different brush sets, and I have to tell you how much I absolutely love these. This is the Bunny Collection, and they did not pay me to say this or anything like that, but I love some of these brushes that I've got to chance to use. This is the tapered blending brush, the E40, and I believe it's similar to um, this tapered one, the big one, but this one is so much better. All of these brushes have synthetic hairs, and I think this one's much more um, kind of stiff, and the hairs on it are so soft, and it blends so nicely. I've been using this every day, and I absolutely love it. Also, um, the other one that I love is the E05 and it's very similar to the other E05 except for it's more stiff because the hairs are synthetic and I love it for applying winged liner. I'm going to have to do a tutorial to show you guys. Um, I just love these brushes. Also this big one is the just the large powder F30 and I don't know if you guys know but this Kirkland one is my favorite for um, powder and it's just so super soft and this one's the same texture so I've been looking for another brush like this that is so soft like this, but um, I found it. 
So I wanted to share that with you guys because if you haven't checked these brushes out, you have to check them out. Or if you're planning on buying any Sigma brushes, those are awesome. Also, um, the F80 is another one of my favorites. So if you're looking for a good foundation brush, everybody talks about it because it is awesome. So anyway, that's my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon. Bye.